Alright, this is the wedding planner number seven. Uh, so pick whichever resonates. We have Kylo Ren, Cinderella, and of course Rapunzel from Tangled. Pick whichever resonates for you and we, we will get started with the readings. Okay, so the first one, um, the first card represents the theme of the wedding. And for the theme, let's see. For the theme, I got the Five of Wands. <laughs> the Five of Wands. The Five of Wands means that it's going to be a modern wedding. Um, probably not going to have a white wedding dress. Um, clean lines, venues, um, decorations, sleek seats, um, geometric shapes, a cool... Um, structural backdrop, minimalistic designs, florals, maybe um, like greenery for flowers if anything, bold colors and like probably some cream here and there just to build like more of an intense thing when you see something like blue or yellow, everything else is going to be more of like a very, you know, cream thing. So, like, things will draw your eye in for the intense color and not, um, you know, certain other things. Anyway, we have the venue. The venue, um, I got the Six of Swords. Six of Swords, maybe a castle, a warehouse, sports stadium, a theme park, a Disneyland, Disney World type thing. And now you know why Kyle runs in this. Um, <laughs> and then the cake. I got, for the cake, I got the chariot. Usually I don't put major arcanas in a reading. But, you know, the chariot is, you know, it means direction and um, pulling two people together. So, um, so the cake is going to be a chocolate bar, chocolates, chocolate fruits, um, and maybe a chocolate cake. So, maybe you guys are chocolate freaks or chocolate fanatics, uh, which is alright. Um... Okay, and then for flowers, we got the Fool. The only zero in the deck, which is not accompanied by another number. So, no flowers for this. Maybe you wanted a light wedding. Maybe you wanted the food to stand out more. You wanted more catering and less flowers. So, that's fine, too. Um, so then your guests, you know, have more of a table space. Maybe, um your venue will provide you flowers or maybe it's like um so that you don't have to pick a season mostly which is fine um then you have the dress code so the dress code is by the two of swords two of swords so it's going to be like the ladies will be in formal colors um, traditional gear, and guys will be, like, in a suit. It's not a clarification of what kind of suit they might wear, but it's, it's gonna be, like, classic, I believe. More than likely, so. 
And then we have the wedding gifts that was provided by the Seven of Swords. The Seven of Swords is handmade, so this could be like handmade items. Um, maybe you like that kind of aesthetic in your house, kind of a, like a rustic. Or maybe it means more if it's something like that, like handmade items. Maybe it's a handmade blanket that your grandmother made or, you know, um, something traditional maybe. Anyway, if you like this reading, leave a like. If you like <laughs> what I'm doing on YouTube, um, subscribe. And if you have any questions, concerns, or ideas for my next video, Leave them in the comment section below and I'll read those. Alright, Kyler Ren group. That was a fun one. Alright, and then we have Cinderella. I should have got Gus out here too. I have Gus on a little fork. Oh. Anyway. Alright, so for this wedding, it's, uh, let's see. Nine of Wands. Nine of Wands. Kind of fairy godmotherish, for sure. Um, nine of Wands. A soft use. Decorative lighting. Um, plenty of florals. Um, hanging lights. Calligraphy. And maybe a flower wall. And of course, since it's Cinderella, it's going to be more of a romantic type of wedding. And then we have, let's see, we have the moon for venue, so we have a couple things that you can do for this. You can do local, state, um, national park, a tree house, because they have some really nice tree house, houses that you can rent out for a wedding. A boat or yacht, which would be a neat idea. Um, country clubs wineries, standalone banquet hall, which would be ideal, um, a bed and breakfast or an inn, depending on how big it is, maybe you have a big wedding or a small wedding, um, a hotel resort, that's what usually people do, and, um, a house of worship, um, and a country club, <laughs> so you got country club twice, um, and then we have the cake. The cake is going to be the Nine of Cups. Nine of Cups is refreshment and miscellaneous. You probably won't have a cake. You'll have more of like probably a banquet dinner um, or catered dinner, um, which is fine. And then you have the flowers, which was represented by the Queen of Wands. This is a very magical wedding with the wands. Um, so exotic flowers, maybe a cactus, maybe some tropical flowers, um, will look really nice. And then we have the wedding, um, dress code. Wedding dress code is the sun. The sun is number 19 on the major arcana list. So it's going to be like a cocktail dress, um, cocktail entire semi-formal, dressy, casual, um, gentleman, probably a suit and tie, maybe a sport coat, depending on how, um, you know, casual it might, might be or how formal it may be. And then we have, for the wedding gifts, what's going to be the highlight is probably going to be the Eight of Cups. The Eight of Cups is going to be housewares. <laughs> maybe you, um, Maybe you went with, um, you know, the classic, um, thing where you pick, like, a store and you get, like, a, a list of things that you need. That might be it, too. But it feels very classic. Um, anyway, if you like this reading, leave a like. If you like what I'm doing on here, subscribe. And if you have any questions, concerns, or ideas for my next video, Leave them in the comment section below and I'll read those. And thank you, uh, Cinderella Group. Rapunzel. <laughs> Alright, Rapunzel Group.
we have, let's see, we have a little bit of stuff going on. Okay, so we have the judgment card for your theme. So that is, uh, it would be 20 on the Major Arcana list. So, probably somewhere near the shore. So it's going to be an article theme, a uh, lake house, a beach, um, maybe a destination, wedding, um, more seaside ceremony, um, blue-white tones, shells, anchors, ropes, um, sailboats. And then the venue is going to be the Ace of Wands. The Ace of Wands is standalone banquet, um, bed and breakfast, or an inn, um, a hotel resort, a place of worship, or a country club. So any of those, or maybe two of those, um, and then, you know, have some place for the, you know, Reception and one for the ceremony. Okay, and then we have the cake. The cake is going to be represented by the Two of Wands. The Two of Wands is a sheet cake, maybe store bought, maybe, um, you know, it's last minute, so it's kind of like, let's get a cake and let's do this kind of thing. Um, and the flowers are going to be the Three of Wands. The Three of Wands is like roses, baby's breath, greens, very classic um, look. So there's going to be a lot of that. The roses could be different colors, so that would be really nice. Kind of to go with the, the Rapunzel look when she has those flowers in her hair. Okay, and then we have the wedding dress code. The wedding dress code is the Four of Wands. Four of Wands, I think it's white tie event. So, full length ball gowns, maybe a long tail tuxedo for the men, and the ball gown for the women. Then we have the wedding gift highlight. So, the wedding gift highlight is a five of wands. <laughs> Maybe some of your wedding guests will fight over this because they wanted it too. Um, a car, actually. <laughs> Somebody gifts you a car. Maybe you have everything else, but you didn't have time to get your car. You kind of used your, you know, savings that you were saving up for a car for a wedding, and you're kind of, you know, really wanted a particular type of car. So somebody gets it for you, or maybe a relative gets it for you, so. Anyway, if you like this reading, leave a like. If you like what I'm doing on here, subscribe. And if you have any questions, concerns, or ideas for my next video, leave them in the comment section below and I'll read those. Thank you for watching. Bye now.